morning, everybody. Um, I'm going to try something new here. Uh, we're going to make a nice quick video on the third tier of solving systems of equations using elimination. And what I want you to notice on this particular assignment is that though this problem has your x's and your y's and your equal signs and your numbers at the end or your constants all lined up, what you'll notice is that none of them, uh, the x's or the y's, have anything that's in common as far as clearly opposite of one another. Now, we do have a positive and a negative, or a plus and a minus, so I do like that piece, but I find that the 5x and the 3x in the first column don't really have anything in common, and the 4 and the 9, though one's positive and one's negative, and I do like that piece, they don't really have anything in common either. What I'm going to do in this particular one is I'm going to show you how to address this problem. Now, what I'll focus on is, though I saw the plus and the minus, and I do like that, I also like simplicity. Uh, so for my purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on a problem like this one with a 5x and a 3x, and I'm going to try to turn those into opposites of one another. Now the easiest way to accomplish this task that I've found is this. There's this thing called a least common multiple, which uh, the least common multiple of 5 and 3, for example, is 15. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to multiply both equations so that I create a least common multiple. So that means the 5 needs to multiply by the 3, and when I distribute that, that would give me 15. And the 3 needs to be multiplied by the 5, because when I distribute that, that would give me 15. Now the only issue I have here is, if I choose 3 on the top and 5 on the bottom, I will end up getting 15x and 15x, and that's fine, but they're not opposites then, they're exactly the same. So what I'll tend to do is simply make one of them negative, and then, for example now, I'm going to move over, I'm going to create my first equation multiplied by 3. 3 times 5x is 15x. 3 times 4y is 12y. And 3 times negative 30 is negative 90. Now on the bottom, I'm going to have negative 5 times 3x, so I have negative 15x, and there's my opposite pair, which I like. That means I know I'm doing it correctly. I have negative 5 times negative 9y, that's positive 45y. And I have negative 5 times negative 18, that is negative 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, negative 90, uh, sorry, positive 90. Now, it so happens that, it so happens that my constant at the end happen to be opposites as well, but I'm not really concerned about that. What I'm after is an opposite pair in either the x or in the y column. Now, we know we didn't work on the y's, so this doesn't help us, but we have these opposite x's here, and that's what I'm after. So now what I'll do is I'm going to add these together. I'm going to put my plus sign with a little parentheses. I'm trying to squeeze it in. And the 15x and the negative 15x essentially create 0x, which we won't need. The 12 and the 45y give me 57y. And the negative 90 and the positive 90 give me 0. Now I'll use my eraser tool like I do in class, 0x. And because it's a plus, and if I erase it, the problem stays positive, I don't need the plus. If there were a minus sign there, I would leave it. I'm going to take those pieces away. I'm going to divide by 57, although you probably already know that 57 times 0 equals 0, so y is 0, and there's half my answer. Slide this up a little bit, and this is where y always comes second, so I know that my y value is 0. And now ultimately what I'm going to do is I want to create some space. I've already used black and blue ink. I'm going to choose um, purple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 0 and I'm going to put it into the y space in one of my two original equations. And I have to admit, even though there's lots of lines going on here, I don't want to confuse anyone. I think that is the spot I want to put it. I could have also placed it down here in this y value, but the second one has subtractions and many of you choose pluses uh, or addition when you get a chance. So I'm going to do the same thing. So here's what I would have. 5x plus 4 zeros, because we put the y in there equals negative 30. Now, this part, the 4 times 0 doesn't really matter, so that goes away. I divide both sides by 5, and I get x is negative 6, which means I now have my answer. And that is how you solve uh, the third tier of elimination questions.